So when I think about this contest, the first thing that comes to mind for me is a book that I read is a book by Stephen Covey and it's titled The Speed of Trust. And I think it'd be a book that we could all benefit from reading or myself to read again. So essentially what it focuses in on is that with trust, like we have with each other, just like we did with the last contest that we did together, greater things are achieved. Um, essentially what it is, it's, it's kind of the whole premise is that, you know, one plus one equals more than two. And that's what I think that we're accomplishing here. You know, we're, we're friends both on a personal level, but also in business as well. And because of that, we're able to accomplish bigger, better things, such as giving away $20,000. And not only are we giving somebody $10,000, which is gonna make a huge difference in their life, but we're also gonna give them that feeling that somebody gets when they give somebody that they trust, one of their friends, $10,000. So that the girl who won the $20,000 last time with our, our, with our last contest, she felt great. Like, no doubt she was sky high. But we also felt great because we were given to her. The feeling that we got when we gave her the money last time was astronomical. So now, that one person, whoever wins this contest, gets that same feeling that she did when she won the money, plus the feeling that we did. So you're compounding two great feelings and showing how much it pays to have good friends in the community and how much it pays to have loved ones surrounding you. Uh, th this, this contest is really about friendship, even though it's sometimes difficult to ignore $10,000 for you and $10,000 for your best friend. But I mean, even at the core of this contest, friendship with the radio station and, and, and you guys. Like, what if our initial interaction together wasn't friendly? We didn't have respect for one another. We didn't trust each other. Well, we wouldn't be doing this contest. And I mean, to give away 20 grand, it's a big deal. But it's, I, I don't know, it's just something about seeing the look on someone's face when you help them or give them something. It could be a cup of coffee, in this instance, $10,000. Um, it, it really says a lot about about what it what it means to be a best friend, you know, like ten grand. Wow. I mean, it's. I looked at the camera. I'm so sorry. <laughs> That's a lot of money, everybody. <laughs> broke it. Oh, if I were to give you ten thousand dollars, and then I were to give you another ten thousand dollars, who would you give that other ten thousand dollars to? I I see the the value in in, in having something to give. You know, it's thank you for the ten thousand dollars. It's really nice to receive, but I'm also, I, I also had this opportunity to give to give away ten thousand dollars, and uh, I would like to give my ten thousand dollars to charity. Um, I think it would be a great idea to give ten thousand dollars to the IWK. Um, it uh, it supports the local community, albeit in Halifax. Uh, I've known some people who've had to make the trip with sick children, having that on their mind as well as, you know, unexpected costs for accommodations and transportation and um, I know that that kind of money comes in real handy for people who are going through that kind of an experience and uh, would make me feel really good to support somebody in that kind of situation. I think that that feeling is more important of helping somebody, whether it be your mom or your dad or your sister or a homeless person on the street, but I would probably say my mom. Uh, Number one, she gave birth to me. I think I owe her <laughs> a lot, actually. Um, and uh, she's been working nonstop for the past 40 years. So to be able to give her 10 grand so she could go take a vacation, a much needed vacation, maybe take me, probably take my dad, but uh, that woman has worked to the bone. So I, I, would give, I would give her the money, hands down. There's so many people that'd be deserving of that money. It would definitely uh, make their day. Um, but for me personally, I'd have to pick my father um, just because he's been there for me every step of the way and uh, given me everything in life that you know I could ask for from, from him. Uh, my favorite memory of me and my dad would, would probably be hunting. Uh, it's something that we do every year and I've done my whole life. And uh, hunting's not for everybody, but uh, you know, it's, it's not as much the, uh, the sport 
but it's more about the bonding, going out and enjoying time with the family. And uh, me and my brothers and my father, you know, took uh, every year some time to be together out of busy schedules. My father also has had some difficult uh, news lately that he had to digest and uh, this this would be, you know, a way of making him feel really good. So I think, you know, it'd be nice for, for me to show up with a, that kind of gift or you know, we had an event, if, he, if he'd be there and, and win that kind of money and share that kind of money with me, I, I think it would be some welcome news for sure. Make me feel really good about giving him $10,000. Yeah, so that's exactly what this contest is going to portray. It's it's going to give somebody that feeling of giving. It's going. It's not only that they're receiving the ten thousand dollars. Like, yes, that's going to be nice, but them giving that ten thousand dollars to somebody that they love, somebody that they trust. Like, that's where the the huge benefit from this contest comes. That's where that huge benefit from this contest is. I mean, we get to feel that because we're giving it to them, but it's going to be multiplied for them because not only do they receive it but they're also giving that same amount to whoever it is that they love and that's why we want the slogan friendship pays because in a situation like this it truly does pay make sense mm -hmm. nailed it <laughs> Bam. <laughs> so you could you could cut and edit that. Perfect. Yeah.